the Galaxy S10 is essentially a miniaturized and complicated computer. It presents a potential entry point for malicious software and ads. If you are curious about how to protect your Samsung device from potential dangers or if you want to learn how to get rid of the pop-ups that are now appearing on the screen, we'll show it here in this video. When you open a web browser like Google Chrome for Android, for example, and you see advertisements or pop-up windows that appear without your control. It's possible that the browser has been hijacked, although this happens rather often on personal computers. It's not quite as widespread on Android devices just yet. When using Android, malware is often distributed via the installation of applications. It is possible that a recently installed app is to blame if your Samsung Galaxy smartphone has suddenly begun displaying advertisements where none previously existed. You could try removing the application from your device to see if it resolves the issue. Press and hold power button until power options appears and release. Tap and hold power off option until safe mode appears and release. Tap safe mode. Wait for your device to finish the restart. Safe mode will display in the bottom left corner of the screen. After the system has finished booting into safe mode, you should monitor it for a while to determine whether or not the pop-ups have returned. In such case, you should uninstall the most recent app you downloaded. Scanning an Android smartphone for potential dangers is one of the ways that Google protects users' devices from being compromised by malicious software. Be careful to utilize it as a backup method in the event that you cannot locate the infection on your device. How to do it? Open your Android device's Google Play Store app. Tap menu icon. Tap play protect. Tap on the scan button. You may also protect your computer from possible infections by downloading paid or free antivirus software, which you can purchase. There is a wide selection of high quality but free antivirus software available from the Play Store. If you keep on getting annoying notifications from a certain website or websites only, you can change the settings on your Google Chrome browser to block them. Here's how. Open the Chrome app. To the right of the address bar, tap more icon. Select settings, tap site settings, tap notifications. In the list of websites, find the site that you want to block and tap it. Turn off show notifications. Most of the time, bad apps force pop-up ads to appear at any time. This type of malware is more annoying and can stop the device from working. We're seeing more and more of these kinds of pop-ups these days. your phone is frozen, won't work, or is just plain useless because of pop-ups, the first thing you should do is wipe it with a factory reset. When you do a factory reset, it will get rid of everything that isn't essential to the system. This includes potentially bad apps, viruses, malware, and codes that force pop-ups. Create a backup of your personal data and remove your Google account. Open settings app, scroll to and tap general management, tap reset. Select Factory Data Reset from the given options. Read the information then tap Reset to continue. Tap Delete All to confirm action. Factory Reset might help clean up your phone, but it can't always keep it safe. If you're not careful, you'll end up putting back the app that caused the virus. To make it less likely that this will happen, you should do these two things right after setting up the device. Turn on Play Protect in the Play Store and download an antivirus app. A lot of the responsibility for keeping your device safe from security threats falls on you. The user, virus protection and other automatic forms of protection can only do so much. Bad people often find ways to get around protections like antivirus and the Google Play Store. So you shouldn't always trust apps with the safety of your data. Even safe apps may use annoying pop-ups to make money. So if they come back after a factory reset, it's probably because you're not filtering your apps well enough. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.